So today we're going to be veering off a little bit from what we normally talk about, as the question of clan security came up. Um, and granted, it was in reference to the dojo specifically, but I didn't want to half-ass the explanation, so I figured I would go on to cover everything about the clan ranks, hierarchy, and permission system. If you are in a clan, you can access this by going down to clan management and go to edit hierarchies. Uh, so we're going to cover the roles first. The roles are the permissions. Ruler allows you to edit permissions on any rank. Uh, this is kind of an important thing, and you probably shouldn't give anyone this permission, ever. Uh, recruiter allows you to invite people to the clan, that's pretty self-explanatory. Regulator allows you to kick people from the clan. Uh, this should only be given to people that you trust, so that way they don't kick your clan overnight. Promotion allows people to promote, however, like it says there, you can only promote to the same rank that you're at. So if I have someone at calf, they can promote someone at bagged milk, which is the entry rank, up to calf, but they can't promote them above to bovine or divine bovine, which is the warlord ranks, and we'll cover that in a bit. Architect allows you to destroy and create dojo rooms entirely. Uh, this is not the permission to decorate. This role is not required to access the preview decorations option, contrary to what was said in the patch notes upon release. It can be used by anyone at all. Architect is also required to change the skybox of any given dojo room. The reason why I really stress that Architect uh, should not be given out freely is people, while you're asleep, can nuke most of your dojo overnight. Granted, rooms take two hours to destroy. They can queue as many as they would like at a time, so long as the parent-child system will allow it. If you're familiar with how dojo construction works, you'll know what that means, uh, but this is a very dangerous thing to have. Architect is also required in order to change the console message and the room name. Dojo Decorator allows you to decorate the rooms, as you would figure. This is separate from the room building permission. Uh, if someone were to try and sabotage you with this, they would have to take apart every decoration individually, one by one. Uh, so if you do get nuked by someone who has this permission, you can at least take solace that it took them forever. A quick clarification, because there are some people that have asked about this. You do not need the dojo decorator role in order to fund a decoration. You also don't need it to edit the room polychrome. There's several different instances of funding um, and slight changes that don't require this permission at all. Uh, there is no way to stop someone from funding. Uh, that's I, I've seen people that like throw a fit if like a clan member funded something, uh, but there, there's nothing to be done about that. So just grit your teeth, I guess. Treasurer allows you to edit the clan tax rate for trades, um, but it also allows you to, when you're decorating, to make contributions from the clan vault first and then your personal uh, store of resources afterwards. It will always prioritize whatever happens to be in the vault before it takes from you. This also allows you to turn on the auto-contribute from vault uh, to decoration, so that way you don't have to go through and contribute all, it'll just automatically do it. Keep in mind that A, this funds uh, polychromes immediately upon placement. The polychrome can still be edited, uh, but it is going to be funded and will complete 24 hours from the moment that you place it. Uh, and then B, that this turns it on for everyone if you do toggle that on. It's for your entire clan. Um, it's not just for you when you turn that on. And then lastly, C, it will never take from your personal store while you are auto-funding. It will only auto-fund from the clan vault. When your clan vault runs out of resources, it will just start showing decorations as yellow as you place them, but it won't take from you. If you do not have this permission, it will be impossible for you to try and use any plat that is in your clan vault. Tech allows anyone to start a research. Uh, kind of following hand in hand with what I said about the do uh, dojo decorator permission, there is no way to stop someone from funding a research as well, which I don't see why you'd ever want to, um, but you don't need this permission in order to fund a research project, you only need it to start one. Tactician is now deprecated, I don't understand why it's still in the game because it has no actual purpose. Solar rails are dead, along with the research for it. I, this shouldn't be here, honestly. Chat moderator gives you permission to kick or ban people from the chat. Uh, this chat is your clan chat or your in-game uh, dojo relay chat as well. A kick is a five minute kick. Um, they'll just be right back after five minutes. It's not a huge deal. Ban is an hour and then there's a day option as well. This can be used, uh, say you're featured on the star chart and you want to ban someone from the chat that's causing problems in your dojo while you're there, you can use this to kick them. Herald allows you to change the message of the day, um, which isn't too eventful, but it is what it is. And Fabricator allows you to get 
actual blueprints from the clan. If you do not have this enabled, you will not be able to buy anything from the clan research labs. Real quick, I will cover how to change the message of the day. Literally just follow those steps and pull this up. It does have a character limit. I don't recall what it is off the top of my head, and I also don't care because this is hardly relevant. Mostly what this should be used for is very small announcements or just directing people to your Discord because the clan management system in-game is currently not desirable. And then a quick overview on the actual ranks. Uh, you are given nine ranks to start with. However, this bottom one is only a utility rank. Uh, the names here won't match up with what you have on yours. I've custom named these uh, just to fit the theme. Uh, the bottom one is only obtainable by a demotion. The next one up is the actual starter rank, uh, and then people have to be promoted in order to reach anything else. This top, second to top one here, I've labeled it as bovine, is normally what is called the warlord rank. Uh, they have all permissions by default. You cannot disable any of those. So if you promote someone to warlord, you need to be certain uh, that they're not going to fuck you over. The tippy top one is the founding warlord, permission, and that can promote or demote uh, warlords. If you choose to promote someone to your own rank of founding warlord, it will demote yourself and put them in your place, because there can only be one founding warlord in a given clan. In order to promote or demote, you need to click on the name in the roster of the person you would like to do that with. You can kick them by expelling them from the clan. Also be aware that kicks will not work on people at the same rank or higher. You can also view their contributions if you would like. Shame on you, Dash. And then if you want to promote, there will always be a prompt to tell you which one you want to promote them to. And then if you want to demote, also quick note, notice utility isn't listed here. And as I said before, it is only obtainable by demotion. Um, so be careful that you don't put permissions on your utility rank that you wouldn't normally have on a higher rank because anyone with the uh, promoter permission can demote someone to the utility rank and that utility rank might have more permissions than your standard ranks ever did. Um, so that's something to be careful about as well. There really isn't a whole lot else to cover with this, um, but I figured I would go over and show what each permission did what and uh, uh, that's just about it. If you guys have any questions on this, please feel free to comment below and I will answer them as best as I can.